a lot i went through a like little depression stage with social media i was really ready to delete social media because i felt like i just was going downhill i wasn't growing where i wanted to be that's something that's really hard for me because it's a lot of work that you know it takes to be a youtuber an influencer or whatever so when you don't see the progress i mean you gotta stick to it you can't give up it's really hard to you know stay consistent when you feel like damn this not working or in my case i really felt like people want to see something interesting and what i'm putting out is not interesting enough like i gotta get on to doing some collabs and you know juicy stuff more so boring or like things like this where y'all could feel like y'all are on facetime with me that's why i say like what's up youtube family like i want this to be like a family where y'all can message me if you don't feel comfortable commenting so i just stopped putting out content until i was ready i got a camera for christmas which is what i'm recording on so i'm just like oh my god i haven't even used my camera like, i was going through it but baby we back and we better i done prayed about it i got so much stuff that's already putting into works I'm so excited. Like, I hope y'all are staying tuned to see what my channel will be bringing. It's almost Pisces season. I turn 24 next month on February 29th. I was born on leap year. My birthday never comes, but this year it's coming. So, you know, we got to do it big. I just want to say, like, with this vlog, as a young mom, I spent so much time with my daughter that I don't really do much for myself. I will go spend three hundred dollars in my on my daughter in the store but won't buy myself a twenty dollar pair of pants you know i'm so excited for this vlog because it's like no if i see it i'm gonna get it today like i'm not gonna be worrying about the price of stuff or oh i could should i could have got this for nayeli I, I know i'm gonna pick her up something like, i'm not gonna feel bad for doing that i'm gonna take care of myself i'm gonna spoil myself and when you look good you feel good so i'm about to do my makeup do my hair this lace is not trying to be my friend today because I'm about to have to add something right here at the top. With my wigs, I noticed it works so much better when you tie the band. Sometimes it feels like your ear is about to fall off, but baby, that band got to be tight for that to work. Another thing that really bothered me was the fact that I have the followers. I have the platform. Like, I have 1.5 million followers on uh, TikTok. On Instagram, I have like 83,000 followers. Here, oh, what's up with me? Here I have 45k. I have the followers, but I wasn't seeing the results. Just getting so irritated because it's like it's people who don't have nearly half as much as followers as I have, but they're still, you know, getting the results. And of course, you know, it took a lot of consistency. I'm not down on them, it take a lot of hard work. But people think that I would have it easy simply because, oh, you got 1.5 million followers. Like, it's very, very hard for me, too. I have to put in a lot of hard work. Another thing that was, like, super-duper discouraging is I have all the materials. I have two cameras. There's some people who don't have a camera who's still recording on their phone. I have a um, Mac laptop. I have uh, two phones. I have ring lights, studio lights. I have everything that I need, and I still felt discouraged and not motivated when there's some people who are praying like like dang i just really want to get to the point to where i can invest in the camera in this and i have everything and i still wasn't seeing the growth and that was so frustrating for me so it's like i really just took a break to like strategize strategize what was going on what i needed to do to improve myself and see results so hopefully all of the you know consistency and work that i put in you know it shows soon because I love y'all. I want to like grow like an entire platform. I know that I can do it if I put the hard work in. I'm, I don't want to talk y'all to death. I'm going to y'all just a little bit so we can get started. Another reason why I felt super discouraged is because my new year did not start how I wanted it to start. Like I was really sick the first week of um, the new year. Then after that, I had the freaking flu, and that was terrible, so that, you know, delayed me from working. I had just got my camera, like, I'm like, oh, I got a new camera, I'm about to do this, this, January, I want this, this, I want to have a posting schedule where, I'm, like, nothing was working out for me, and I just had to, like, take a break because I felt like I was going to go crazy just stressing about, you know, my new year not starting as expected. But I said, you know what, I'm not going to focus on that. As long as I'm doing better and I'm improving and um, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be the 1st of January. Like, baby, my new year finna start on February 1st. Um, we gonna have a redo because cause this was some bullshit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I had to fix a few things, but I was in a stage where I really wanted to be in a relationship. Every person who I was talking to, it wasn't working. 
I realized that I was the problem. Everyone was complaining about the same thing. Your attitude, you don't respond. You're, you know, you don't act like you're interested. And then I just realized like, damn, yes, I am the problem. So I just been bettering myself so that before I try to, you know, look, get, trying to get somebody else to love me or whatever, because how do I describe this? It seemed like I was hurting good men. And it's very, very hard to find a good man, like, in this generation. Y'all know that. These men care, and I'm catching myself talking like, oh, that nigga just acting like a bitch. She just tripping. Like, I was like, dang, like, I'm really hurting these people. And, you know, you gonna continue to hurt people until, you know, you get yourself together. And that's not okay. That's super duper selfish. I just started realizing like, yo, girl, you gotta get yourself together. You gotta really realize like you deserve to be treated good by other people, by yourself, like especially by, by yourself, spoil yourself. If you can't spoil yourself, why you want a man to be sitting up here spoiling, spoiling you? So that's what I've been doing. This wig is starting to look like something now. I ain't gonna talk y'all head off. Y'all could just finish watching me install this wig. I'm probably put some lit music on. Before I leave, let me show y'all this. So I am obsessed with the color pink, if you don't know that by now. And I got this cute little set with all these little different tools in it from Sheen, and it was only a dollar. So I'm excited about this. <laughs> I'm letting my baby hairs dry. So I'm going to do my makeup, um, come back. We're going to pick out an outfit and then get ready to head out because I got to go get these nails, toes, and I'm ready to spoil myself. So y'all, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, my makeup is done. I got to take my scarf off and, you know, get my hair all together. But I feel like the face is beat. Oh, this actually just got delivered just now. I'm going to go for something real simple. I did want to dress up. But it's so cold, y'all. So I ordered this jacket off of Amazon a couple of days ago. And it's really just like a slim fit white workout jacket. Um, This and makeup, it's not going to go together. I ain't going to tell y'all no lie. I already know that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear this. But I got some these jeans and they just like kind of scrunchy at the bottom with my pandas. I love these. These are like my favorite shoes. I really love with the jacket open. But a girl ain't trying to get pneumonia. So I'm gonna zip it up a little bit. I ordered this necklace off she. I'm gonna go buy myself some jewelry today. Like that's one of the main reasons why I'm going to the mall. I'm not a necklace girl at all, but I just feel like I'm entering that soft girl era. Before I go, I have to have this. I know y'all see me talk about this in almost every single video, every single get ready with me. This is my favorite perfume. Men, women, everybody stop me when I'm wearing this. Like, what do you got on? This, it's gonna be hard for me to switch from that to something else. Ooh. I don't like my baby hairs looking stuck down. I call it stuck down, I don't know no other way to put it. I don't like them looking like that, so I just comb them to make them fluffy. Just like comb them out, I like them a little thick not not very thick but it's cute i look very cute very clean let's get this maintenance vlog started oh before we leave let me show y'all this real quick amazon haul these are the nails that i ordered from amazon i saw a lot of girls using them on tiktok to be honest i don't feel like putting them on myself so i'm about to just ask the nail salon can they press them on for me so i gotta bring these with me and not forget my phone i'll show y'all this on once i get back but this is like a pretty little pink because y'all know i'm obsessed with pink it's a pink uh, macbook cover it is 252 three o'clock already let's head out because i already know i'm about to be in some traffic y'all let's go 
I don't know if I'm going to go to Perimeter or Perimeter Mall, Linux Mall, or I always go to Cumberland Mall. So let's see which one is closest. I mean, I guess we could just go to Linux. Oh, Linux got a fin uh, Savage X Fenty store in there. We're about to head to Linux, y'all. Hey, Siri, give me directions to Linux Square in Buckhead, Atlanta. Getting directions to Linux Square. Oh, I'm so obsessed with my makeup. Like, oh, it looks so pretty. It's a lot of people out right now, and it's brick outside. When I say it's cold, I think it's... Well, my car said, like, 36 degrees, but the temperature for today is going to be, like, 27. I'm going to try to go to the nail salon first, because that's what's most important right now. I actually want to go in this UGG right here. I don't know where the um, nail salon is at in here, so I gotta find a directory real quick. Okay, I think this one works. Search now, nail salon. I can't use it in the mall? No. When did y'all start that? I left out of Linux mall because they was tripping. They was like, oh, you can't have the camera. I was like, okay, whatever. So I was gonna still try to sneak and record. I go up to the escalator to get to the nail salon and they're like, oh, um, it detected that you had a weapon in your purse. We're gonna need you to open that because it's a freaking metal detector in the mall. Um, you can bring it in, but you just can't use it. So if you have it out and they catch you, they are gonna put you out. Bye, next mall. This is probably the only nail salon. So, um, I'm gonna just go in here and see what they say. So, I'm gonna just go somewhere else because I went in that nail salon or whatever, and he was like, um, I showed him the nails and I was like, well, y'all press those on? He was like, no, with the attitude. And then after he said it with the attitude, I was like, is there another nail salon near here? I don't know. Like, you cannot get mad because I don't want, uh, whatever y'all provided. Like, what? So, anyways, we just about to move on to the next steps after this. The devil trying to bother me. These malls be difficult for no freaking reason. I'm so mad I couldn't get my nails and stuff done first. But we could do that after. Because I really wanted to get that done. I'm just trying to find Pandora right now. And there's some Ugg slippers. Oh my God, so cute. I want them. Let's find Pandora. Hopefully they let me record and don't be tripping. It's right here. Hopefully they let me record. We about to see. I think this one it's super cute and i love the ring that goes with it they have this little engraving thing here but i'm not sure if they will engrave on in other stuff i'm eating my normal for i guess lunch slash dinner no today is supposed to be about me but i messed up when i came in kids foot locker they got barbie dunks i've been looking for these for years and they only 55 oh my god what the and I need some forces, bro. They, if they don't have my baby size, I'm legit gonna cry. I'm having the most terrible luck today finding stuff. People tripping about me recording. Like, I understand why all the TikTok girls at Target. Target don't trip about recording. These moms in Atlanta are crazy. Saw some little Ugg slippers that I like. And I hope they got my size because I found two things I was gonna show you guys, but then I didn't see my size. So let's go in here. I love these. I want a lighter color pink, so I'm gonna see if they have a lighter color. Okay, y'all, so, so I'm gonna go here. Hopefully, it's no BS. Even though my toe is cracked, they said that they could um, do it still. Thank God. I'm not even gonna show y'all my toes. I'm too embarrassed. They're just gonna put a little overlay on it, which I did not want them to put another fake toe because that's how it cracked in the first place. Because I don't think my toes are strong enough for them to continuously put overlays. I let them do it last time. I wanted to try something new. And then when I tried something new, my toe broke. I guess it's too much acrylic and my toe's too weak. So they're going to have to do it again because my toe broke. So I don't have enough nails to do a French tip. And that's all I get on my toes. I haven't asked them about pressing the nails on yet. They're probably going to say they won't do it. But we just got to do it at home when we get home because I don't got time for these people today. I'm literally like almost the only person left in the nail salon. I should be done shortly. What the fuck? 38 plus 23 plus 12 add to 73. They sure do. I'm gonna show you on my toes when I get home. I give them like a seven and a half out of 10. It's 7.30. Um, 
one of my favorite stores in the whole entire world. I could not live in New York or nothing. It's freezing. It's freezing in Atlanta. Freezing cold. Like cold, cold. I know I need some concealer. Where's my color? Definitely time for a new beauty blender. I'm gonna try this. Have y'all ever tried this? I think this is every girl's favorite place to be. Uh, I don't like this one car. It doesn't have the little phone slot. I put back the makeup wipes that I got in Ulta because I knew I could get them here for half the price as I expected. I love the Neutrogena ones. I know I need these out of here. You never really need nothing out of Target. You just go in here and once you're in here, you figure out what you need. <laughs> This is why I never trust coming in Target to their Ulta section because you see they never have anything. So I need this when I do my nails at home. My gas tank is low. It's too cold. It's too damn cold. Hold on, my friend sending me an audio message, y'all. I gotta <laughs> listen to this. <laughs> All right, y'all. I think it took $41. That's how much it takes to fill up my car, y'all. So 
So when my ex bought me a promise ring, I did not take it off. Like, even after we broke up, because I just was used to wearing it on my finger, so I know I'm going to get used to wearing this. But this is what I got out of Pandora. I love their jewelry because they have a lot of silver, and I love to wear silver jewelry. Next stop was Ulta. But I got this beauty blender because it's definitely it's time for a new one. This is my favorite concealer of, like, all freaking time. It's the Tarte shape tape concealer so i got this coloration correcting serum y'all sorry my daughter tv on in her room i'm like who the hell is that talking in my house ulta i used the coupon but i think i spent 49 dollars. i'm gonna show y'all my toes my toes match my nails i'm gonna probably put a picture on the screen too so let me show y'all my toes real quick my jeans kind of tight but uh, y'all see them and you like mommy toes Down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok at Deja Tamia. And peace out, y'all.